the Veterinary Diagnostic Laboratory, our job is pretty self-evident. It's to be here to provide rapid diagnostics, to be able to rule out or rule in hypothavian influenza as a cause of disease in any species. In fact, we're the only laboratory in Michigan that has the approvals from USDA to do this testing. We've been working closely with farmers, producers, veterinarians across the state and actually in other states as well to be able to obtain samples for rapid testing to rule in or rule out high path avian influenza. And then sharing that data with the National Veterinary Services Laboratories, which is the reference lab for avian influenza in the U.S so that we're able to track and really understand the spread of this virus and then working together to get a better understanding of how it's being transmitted between different species and really sort of the, the scope of this outbreak. Our laboratory has been busy doing a lot of high path avian influenza testing as well still for poultry. So we serve as a regional laboratory to do wild bird surveillance in our state and five others so that we get a better understanding of what strains are circulating in the wild birds and where those wild birds might reside. We also work very closely with the commercial poultry industry and provide testing um, to ensure the security of our poultry flocks. The test that we run for avian influenza is PCR based and I think everyone's familiar with PCR after COVID and luckily for us it will detect any avian influenza virus out there. So we have a quick way to rule in or rule out avian influenza and then we have additional PCRs to more specifically identify the strain. What's probably different in this outbreak as opposed to others say 10 or 20 years ago is we're relying more and more on sequence data to get a real time understanding of how the virus might be changing as it spreads and whether or not there are any differences between different animal species or bird species that may be affected.